Welcome to Research World. In this video, we will discuss which sample size formula to use when we have no or little information available about a population. Statistics is a way of looking at a population's behavior by taking a sample. It's usually not possible to survey every member of a population because of cost, accessibility or time, etc. For example, Let's say you wanted to know how many people in the Japan were non-vegetarians. Think about how long it would take you to call over million peoples, assuming they all had phones and could speak. The problems with surveying entire populations are why researchers survey just a true portion of the population that is a sample. The problem with taking a sample of the population is sample size. Evidently, if you ask just one person in the population if they were non-vegetarian, and their answer wouldn't be a true representative of everyone. But would 50 people be sufficient? 500. Thousand. How would you draw a sample that is a true representative of entire population? If a sample is derived from a population, a formula must be applied to take into consideration confidence levels and margins of error. When taking statistical samples, sometimes a lot is known about a population, sometimes a little and sometimes nothing at all. For instance, we may know that a population is normally distributed, for example for heights, weights, skin colors or IQs. We may know that there is a bimodal distribution, as often happens with class grades in mathematics classes. We may have no idea about how a population is going to behave, such as polling university students to get their opinions about quality of student life. But what if you knew nothing about your population? When nothing about the behavior of a population is known at all, that's where Slavin's formula comes in. Slavin's formula where n equals number of samples, n equals total population, and e equals error tolerance level. 